Imagine waking up one morning to find your city, your home, suddenly split in two by a concrete and barbed wire barricade. Families torn apart, friends separated, and an entire populace held captive by a wall that seemed to appear overnight. This is not the plot of a dystopian novel, but the stark reality faced by Berliners in 1961. Welcome to the gripping history of the Berlin Wall, a story of division, daring escapes, and the indomitable human spirit. The Seeds of Division Post-World War II Europe was a cauldron of tension and rebuilding with Germany at its center. After the Potsdam Conference in 1945, Germany was divided into four occupation zones controlled by the United States, the United Kingdom, France, and the Soviet Union. Berlin, although located within the Soviet sector, was also divided among these four powers. By 1949, these divisions had solidified into two distinct states, West Germany, the Federal Republic of Germany, and East Germany, the German Democratic Republic. Interesting fact. The division of Germany was intended to be a temporary measure aimed at demilitarization and denazification, but ideological differences between the Western Allies and the Soviet Union turned it into a long-term reality. Another interesting fact. Berlin had 81 checkpoints between its western and eastern sectors, allowing a high level of movement before the construction of the wall. The birth of the Berlin Wall. By the late 1950s, East Germany was facing a crisis. Nearly three million East Germans had fled to the more prosperous West Berlin, threatening the stability of the East German state. In a desperate move, the East German government decided to erect a wall to stem the exodus. Despite public assurances from East German leader Walter Ulbricht that no one has the intention of building a wall, preparations were made in secret. On the night of August 12, 1961, East German soldiers and construction workers began laying down barbed wire across the city, severing roads and rail lines. By morning, Berliners awoke to find their city bisected. Over the following days, the barbed wire was replaced by a sturdier brick and concrete wall, fortified with watchtowers and armed guards. Interesting fact. The initial barrier consisted of 155 kilometers of barbed wire quickly followed by more permanent structures. Another interesting fact. In the first year of the wall's existence, over a thousand East Berliners were arrested daily while trying to flee to the West. Life in the Shadow of the Wall The Berlin Wall evolved into a complex security system designed to prevent escapes. It featured two parallel concrete walls with a death strip in between a no-man's land filled with anti-vehicle trenches, floodlights, electrified fences, and patrolling guards authorized to shoot on sight. This deadly expanse claimed the lives of over 100 people during its existence, though estimates vary. Interesting fact, the wall underwent constant upgrades, and by the 1980s it included 302 watchtowers and 20 bunkers along its length. Despite the risks, around 5,000 people successfully escaped to the west, using ingenious methods such as tunnels, hot air balloons, and even a homemade aircraft. Checkpoint Charlie and Cold War Tensions Checkpoint Charlie became one of the most famous sites along the Berlin Wall. It was the only crossing point for foreigners and Allied military personnel. In October 1961, it became the site of a dramatic standoff when American and Soviet tanks faced off just yards apart, each ready for combat. This tense encounter highlighted the ever-present danger of the Cold War escalating into a full-scale conflict. Interesting fact, the standoff at Checkpoint Charlie lasted 16 hours and was one of the few direct confrontations between American and Soviet forces during the Cold War. Checkpoint Charlie became an iconic symbol of the Cold War, featuring prominently in films, literature, and spy novels. The Fall of the Berlin Wall the 1980s saw significant changes in Eastern Europe, with reform movements gaining traction. In East Germany, growing protests and a weakened government set the stage for a historic moment. On November 9, 1989, an East German official's botched announcement led to the opening of the wall's checkpoints. Thousands of East Berliners surged through, greeted by jubilant West Berliners. Interesting fact. The fall of the Berlin Wall was largely peaceful, contrasting sharply with the violence and oppression it had come to symbolize. 
The fall of the wall paved the way for German reunification, officially occurring on October 3, 1990, less than a year after the wall came down. Conclusion A Legacy of Hope The Berlin Wall's history is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the yearning for freedom. Its rise and fall encapsulate the broader narrative of the Cold War, illustrating the profound impact of political ideologies on everyday lives. Today, remnants of the wall serve as poignant reminders of a divided past and the enduring hope for unity and peace. If you found this story interesting, please like, share, and subscribe to the Zane Facts channel. Stay tuned for more captivating tales from history and beyond. Let us know in the comments what topics you would like us to explore next. Your engagement helps us bring more fascinating content to you.